Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how you can update software on Philips Android TVs. There are two ways to do it and I will show you the easier version which only requires your TV to be connected to the internet. So what you do is press home and then scroll all the way down to settings and then to the last option on the right, update software. First you have search for updates and below it current software info. So this will display actual version, creation date, release notes and so on. Also Netflix, CSN number. And then to update TV software you go here and you have two options, internet or USB. For this easier version we'll use internet. And now TV will check its server and as you can see update is available. So I'll select update. You have to agree to end user license agreement. Okay, scroll all the way down. And now TV will download software and install it afterwards. So once download is complete, you will have this option, update now or later. We select update now system will prepare itself for update and now it will take a few minutes for it to reboot, apply the update and bring back the system online. Another restart, so we have this Android animation. And now every app needs to be optimized, so depending on how many apps you have installed this will again take a few minutes or more. And it seems the update is complete. Okay, so now it will take a little more to prepare recommendations and load the system because uh, the update was implemented, but let's see again update software and current software info We see new version is installed Okay, so now again if we go search for updates internet No updates are available. Okay, so TV is up to date So it took me 50 minutes to do this update and you know for people who don't have fast internet connection it's really good that Philips is listing what improvements the update is bringing so if you go to Philips support website you can download the update there and see change log as well and if you want to skip the update that's perfectly fine if the list doesn't contain anything of interest for you you can simply skip it and download some other new update when it arrives. That's it for this tutorial, hope it was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the area below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!